In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a letterhead in Word. And this is the exact same letterhead we are going to design by the end of this tutorial. I'll show you how to create a header in a footer for your letterhead. I'll also show you how to insert your logo. I'll even show you how you can insert an automated date such that anytime you open the letterhead, you get the current date. So if you like what you are seeing and want to design your own letterhead, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That being said, let's jump into the video. Having open Word, I go over to Insert and I click on Shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and use freeform shape. I select it. Then on top of my page, somewhere here, with my cross cursor, I click once. And when I'm moving the mouse so that the line is freeing me, just click once. Then I go to the end right here. If you want to make sure you get a perfect straight line, you need to hold down shift. As you can see, I'm holding down shift, moving the mouse, and you see that the line is just static on top there. So I take it to the end like this, then I click and you see that the line has stick up there. Next, I just come right here and also make sure I get a straight line about this much. Click once. Next, I come down here. This time around, I don't need a straight line. I just need some, I just need to have my line a bit slanted like this. I click. And finally, I go to the first point and make sure that the line meets the first point. As soon as the line meets, you see that the shape is filled. When the line is not meeting like this, the shape will not be filled. Or maybe down here, it won't be filled. So the moment you hit the first point, the shape will be filled. Then you go ahead and double click to insert your object. Perfect. Now, I go ahead and select it and I make sure there's no space on top so i just use the up arrow key and the left arrow key to make sure that there's no space on top here and at left also next i select it back then i'm going to go ahead and remove the outline so i choose no outline next i'm going to draw another shape so i go over to insert shapes and i choose my free form this time around i'm going to go ahead and start from this location Take note, this has no proper measurement. So I just start around here, click once, then I drag it to this match, something like this. I click once, and the space in between the new line and the blue shape should be about the same. So I make sure I get something like this, and I click. Going down, I make sure I get a straight line like this. I click. Then I come right here, click. Finally, I make sure it is joined with the first point like this. Double click. Perfect. Now I can select it back. Then under shape format, I remove the outline. Maybe I can take it a bit up. About this much. These are not the colors I'm going to use. I want to insert my logo so that I'll choose some colors from the logo. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert my logo. With my insertion point being here, I go over to insert and I click on pictures, this device. Okay, my pictures are not showing, but I know this is the one I want. I just select it and I go ahead and click on insert. Awesome. Take note, my logo already has the name of my business. At the moment, I cannot move the logo. So to be able to move it, Make sure it is selected, then go over to text wrapping and click on in front of text. And now I'll be able to move it from one location to another. So this way I want to position it. Meanwhile, I'll reduce the size to this much. Perfect. I like the position. So now that I have my logo here with my two colors, first of all, I'll change the color of the bottom shape. I select it, shape format. Shape fill and I choose black. Next, I select the shape on top. Then I go over to shape fill. I think this glue is close. Let's use and see. 
Okay, there's some sort of variation. I go back in there and I go over to more fill colors. I can take it a bit down. That is the arrow pointing to the colors. And I think this is close. I just click on OK. Perfect. Take note in a situation where your logo is not having the name of your business, you can just go ahead and insert the text in red. So to do that, I go over to insert. Then I click on text box. So you can just draw right under your logo like this. Then you go ahead and enter in your text. Or better so you can move it to whichever location you want, maybe this location. So you only do this when you don't have the name of your business as part of your logo. So I take this off. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert a date at this location and I'm going to use an automated date. So to do that, first of all, I will need to insert a text box. So I go to insert, then I choose text box. I choose draw text box. I just go ahead and draw it right here. It will be perfect if you make it in line with your logo. So I have my text box right here. Next, I go to insert again and I choose date and time. So take note, whatever I'm going to insert now will be inside the text box. So right here are the available date formats. And this is the one I want. I'll just select it and you make sure that update automatically is checked. And I click on OK. Awesome. Maybe I can make it bold by selecting it. Then I go to Home, Hold. I can move it from one location to another if I want by holding the text box. And I can move it to this particular location. But meanwhile, I don't need the box surrounding the date. So I go to Shift Format. It is still selected. That is the text box. Then I go to Shift Fill. I move the fill and the shape outline. I move the outline. So now if I click aside, you see that there's no border surrounding my date. Maybe the logo, I can move it up a bit so that it will be in line with the date. Something like this. Then this is cool. So now the header of my logo is done. Now I'm going to work on the footer right here. And this time around to create the footer, I'm going to go ahead and enable header and footer. To enable header and footer, there are two ways. I can just double click here to enable it. See that footer is now enabled. Let me close it. Or you can just go to insert and under header and footer group, you just go ahead and choose a blank header. Then you can go ahead and remove whatever you have in there. Just backspace once. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create my design. So I go to insert then I choose shapes. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my freeform shape. So I just start from here. Make sure I get a straight line by holding shift key on the keyboard. I click once. I'm going to the right direction. I open up to this match. Holding down shift. I have a straight line. And I click once. Then finally, I go and join it at the starting point like this. Double click to have my complete shape. Perfect. So what I can do is I go to shape fill. I have the color I use right here. That is the same color on top. Then shape outline. I don't need any outline. Let me check to see if, okay, there's some space here. So I select the shape and I use the down arrow key like twice. Next, I go to insert again. Shapes. Then I choose my free form. Starting from here. I click, then I go to this point. With this, I don't need a straight line. So I just click once. Going up, it should be a straight line. I click, and finally I join it from the starting point. Double click. Then I go ahead and fill it with black. Maybe I'll remove the outline. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add my address. To do that, I'm first of all going to insert a text box from here. I just draw it right here. I can move it to whichever location I want, maybe on top, like this. Alright, then I click inside. So first of all, I have address. 
I hit enter. Box TL1329 Family Ghana. Hit enter. Next, I add phone. Hit enter. Meanwhile, I can see my text, so I'll just open the text box like this. Don't worry, we'll position it well. So finally, I have email. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and format my text to the address. I'll make it bold like this. Phone. I do the same thing. And then email. Perfect. I can now close my text box. And what I'm going to do in here is I want to close the gap in between the title address and the box itself. So I just click anywhere inside the text that is address. Then I go over to home. Then inside the paragraph group, I choose line spacing. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose line spacing options. Under spacing, the before, I make it 0 pt, which is already 0 pt. And then the after, I make it 0 pt as well. So that the space will close very tight. Under line spacing, drop down the arrow and I choose single. I click on OK. Now it's much better. So I can now hold my text box and take it down this much. Next, I go ahead and remove the outline of the text box. So I go to Drawing Tools, Shift Format, Shift Fill, No Fill. I'm removing the Shift Fill because if there's an object behind the text box, it may not obstruct it. And then I go to Shape Outline, choose No Outline. Perfect. Now my footer section is done. I go to header and footer and I go ahead and close it up. So with this, if I'm having more than one page letter, the footer will continue to appear at the bottom part of my pages. Now the next thing to do is work on the main body of my letter. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and use a text box. There are two ways you can actually go ahead and do that. You see that at the moment my insertion point is right here. I can double click here. So that I start my typing from here, or better still, I can remove it. Then I go over to insert. I choose text box, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a text box anywhere inside here. So whilst you are drawing your text box, you should have the margins in mind. So I'm sure I have my margins in place. That is the left and right. I can still go ahead and open the text box this much then in here i go ahead and process my letter so i'll just start doing something pretty quick and get back to you all right i've processed my letter i've just entered some dummy content next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and remove the outline of the text box so it's selected so i go over to shape outline i choose no outline let me zoom out in order to see the complete letterhead or the entire letterhead and now my letterhead is done and take a preview of it this is perfect very neatly designed i go back so that's it on how to design a letterhead i hope you found value in this video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.